Okay, guys, this I'm going to try again to keep uh, well within the five minute band. Okay, what do I want to talk about? These are the Lunar Origin uh, 2.0, so the latest edition of them, which I got, I think, about um, four, five, about four months ago, maybe now. Um, and essentially, the, the reason why these are interesting is because of the way they made the sole. So these conform to the original Barefoot Tet idea where they went to the Copper Canyon in Mexico, met a bunch of guys. Um, and they used to make sandals out of tyres, um, and this is a modern adaption of that. Now, he's gone on to make a whole bunch of other sandals which don't have these. This is kind of like this year's step back into that. But the reason I like it is these are, are a lot more robust on the sole, um, so they'll last a lot longer. And considering these come in about 115 US dollars, um, you can understand why you want them to last. But it's interesting, they've, either they have actually used a proper tyre, or they've even gone to the detail of actually putting in the tyre wear markers which you get on your own car tyres. If they've gone for the latter, that's amusing. If they've gone for the former, well done guys, you've actually used a tyre. But the beauty of them is, is their wear is phenomenal. I mean, bear in mind that this has now done over 300 recorded running miles, most of them on hard gravel, um, forest trails, mountain trails, things like the MCC on the um, between Chamonix, uh, sorry, um, between Switzerland and Chamonix. And yet, okay, it's got things embedded in them, but they are still extremely aggressive uh, tread-wise and still have plenty, plenty of wear on them. That's the first thing. I'm going to stay on the bottom deck. What I also like is the fact that they've countersunk the plug hole which holds the lacing system on. That's important because I used to do this with a Dremel anyway on my older ones because I found that was a really weak spot. Originally they were flush, so when the sole wore down around them, they got worn down, sandal fell apart. This stops that. Really good news. Okay. Um, on the top deck, material, comfortable into leather. And I went for leather because I'm, I've never run with leather from Luna before. Um, as the lace, sorry, the, yeah, the strapping lacing system. And I found it was really good. But there's one key thing you have to understand with it, or um, I did, was that this is the thickness and the um, kind of uh, width of the, of the lace when it first arrives. But if you look at some of the stuff um, where it's actually physically under pressure, like the heel strap and so on, the stretch has been incredible. To give you an idea of how much it's stretched, um, clearly this is quite long without a word of a lie we're talking over here by the time it was done I've had to cut it several times to the point that I've even been able to use it to replace a hinge on my old trusty Fortrex 101 and that's one from one lace and there's still plenty more to go from so it stretches over 300 uh, miles that's now um, stabilized I think it's probably the best way to describe it but that led to a different problem which I've now solved now if you look on this one, you can see there's actually quite strong corners. So effectively what they've done is created a pit for the lace to sit in. Um, this one's a bit of a mess because I've just um, had a bit of re-gluing. But on one of them, what they did was they created a D-shape. So there was actually smooth corners. And that meant that there was pressure on the outside of one of these laces when it was running. And eventually it wore through to about, probably about that point. So it was the start of a tear, which kind of worried me. So what I did was I used some of the extendable lace that I had tons of sat to one side and super glued a kind of like a pad over the top of it, knowing that most of the stretch of the lace is now finished. And because of that, um, it now sits flush. Once you run on it a little bit, it will smooth it down because it's got pressure on it. It's not sheer. So generally it protects the pad. I've also re-gouged out the two corners to make it a proper square block again. Um, and this has done, um, what have I worked it out now, 50 odd miles. And it just, um, I had to re-glue it a little bit around one edge, which is why it's a bit damp now. But just ordinary super glue with, because um, super glue glues skin very well. Funny enough, it also glue le <laughs> glues leather very well. A um, couple of the nice touches, the um, leather tech strap over the top. Also, uh, first time I've run with a tech strap from Luna as well. And actually, the difference it makes to the heel strap um, security is actually really quite noticeable but one thing you have to remember and this is the last bit before I close it down is if you notice where the wear markers are I was finding actually that I was drifting towards the heel um, now the thing you have to remember with sandals is unlike shoes you move the sandal around by using these straps you don't move the foot around it sounds a bit weird but by pushing this strap further towards the toe it allowed the heel strap to be tightened up and move me forward on the footbed so um, it actually worked out quite nicely so overall, these are great little bits of kit. Um, they do last a hell of a long time, particularly with this heel piece. Uh, sorry, with this sole. So um, I'm going to jump off now because I've got about five seconds left. Any questions at all about lunar sandals, whatever, just fire them into me and I'll answer if I can. Catch you later.